today I would like to talk in detail about lists. We've already looked at messages. Lists are multiple messages combined together and sent all at once. So let's start here at Max tutorial number three, numbers and lists. If you go to your reference and pull this up, you can also click here and then get this path by clicking open tutorial, this colorful one right here. So here in the blue, we have a description of lists. You can see in contrast to up here where we have just our numbers, so 25, 64, three, these are all just single elements in a message box. A list is when we take multiple elements, more than one, and we put them together in the same message box. So here I have 60, 30, right? Then I have uh, 22, 33.9. So this is showing I can use integers and floats. I can use multiple types of data in my lists. I can combine text with numbers. Why would I want to do this? So here's an example right on this uh, this up here in this green box, right? With number box. I'm sending the number, you know, integers here to my number box. But notice that I can't send hey. Hey's not a number. Integer doesn't know it. But what I can do is I can send an, a word, a symbol, the word set in this case, to this number box object because the number box understands set. Because somebody told already, somebody told that number box what set means. So if I say set 15, the number box goes, oh, I know what set means. And then it knows to expect another message after set called 15. It set itself to 15. Another example of this is let's say you're working with a text file. So I have this text file with five different lines of text in it, very useful lines, might I add, here. And if I want this text object to tell me what these each of these lines are, I have to have a way of saying which line I want. So same thing as set 15, uh, for the text object, I can send a message with a text, <laughs> text, a word, a symbol, the word line, followed by a space, followed by an integer for the line that I want. So line number four or line number three, and then it knows what I'm actually wanting. Or maybe you are working with color, right? And you need an RGB value, three of them, one for red, one for green, one for blue, all packed together and sent at the same time. Or uh, even, even better, right? Maybe you're drawing, that's compatibility mode, Maybe you're drawing circles and you need four coordinates for the location of those circles. And you also need three or maybe even four numbers for the color of those shape, though that shape that you're drawing. So these are all good reasons why we would take messages and combine them into lists. So now let's look at how we're gonna work with these, how we're gonna create them, pack them together and then separate them into their individual elements. This is called unpacking. One way we can create a message, sorry, a list, is literally to just create it. I am typing a list right now. Space, spaces, just like a sentence. I could put numbers in here. I could just type them in, right? Okay. So another way that we can uh, create lists is through taking individual elements and packing them together. Let's do that in a second. Let's unpack first. Here I have, I am a message, okay? So I, let me just print this. Option, drag to get rid of these for a minute. I'm gonna click, I am a message, I'm a message. Okay, so I'm sending these all at once. I see I am a message printed out in my console. But let's say that I actually want to know what is the first element of this list. I don't care about the rest of it. I just want that first element, I, okay? So I'm gonna click on this. And now the I message is going into this object called unjoin. And unjoin has three outlets and it's taking each element of the list and it's separating them into these different outlets. So 
out of the first outlet on the left, I have now print one, I have the word I. Out of the second, I have the word M. And then out of the third, I have everything else in the message. So seriously, I am right now. I get the rest of it, a message seriously I am out of this last outlet. Now the reason for that is because unjoin, this is its default to give you the first two elements separately and then the rest. I can change this if I want. So let's say I am a message seriously I am. Uh, that's seven elements. So I could say unjoin seven and then I get seven outlets. So I'm not gonna do this, I think you can imagine. I am a message, seriously, I am, right? And then if there's anything extra, it would come out of this last outlet. So unjoin uh, is a great object for this. Unpack is also a great option. Unpack does exactly the same thing, but in a slightly different way. Unpack asks you, rather than to tell you just the number of elements in the list, unpack wants a specific type of elements. So here I have a bunch of symbols, uh, so I have the letter S, but I, if I had numbers, if I had integers, I could use the letter I. If I had floating point numbers, I could use the letter F to say these are the types of uh, messages, individual messages inside this list. Oops. Really quick, make sure this works. Okay, yes, great. I, and then this one should be M. Uh, okay, great, it's working. So now that I have taken this message, and I have unpacked it, okay. I have these individual uh, messages, I am a message. So, so let's take them and let's repack them together into a new list. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, uh, we're gonna take each of these and send them into the inlets of the opposite object of unjoin, join. And join is the same, we can tell it five, for if we want five elements in our list. So what we're gonna, what we have here is no, I am a <laughs> list, sorry. <laughs> I was doing that earlier, I wanna tell you in a second. Uh, no, I am a message, click on this, no, I am a message. Uh, now, it's lying, it's actually a list, right? Uh, if I type in list, L-I-S-T, it gets very confusing and maybe we shouldn't even do this, uh, but I'm going to, now I'm on this tangent. Join actually understands the word list as something else, right? As an actual command that it understands to, to do something else. So I can't actually press list and then get join to say, no, I am a list, which really killed the, the humor of my video. So, or maybe it's better, I don't know. Um, so I had to spell list wrong, and we'll do Sean's list instead. And then we can say, <laughs> I'm a list. Okay, that was a tangent that we maybe we didn't need, um, but it was fun. Okay, so we, now we know we can unpack lists uh, to get individual elements. We can create lists of any length with these, this join object uh, or by typing in messages in here and uh, it, there, there's a couple of other ways that we can make messages that I'll just mention very briefly. So one is uh, the POC and PAC objects. Again, opposites of unpack, they do the same thing. They pack elements in together and they're asking for specifics of the type. So I would say pack, symbol, symbol, integer, quote, whatever it is that I have. POC, P-A-K, is the same as pack except one tiny difference, and that is that every inlet here is a hot inlet. So what does that mean? Over here with pack, if I type in a number here, or any number, right, I'm actually not getting any output packed, even though this number is for sure changing and for sure going in there, because the cold inlet doesn't cause any output, if you're remembering this hot and cold inlet thing now. If I do the same thing but with pock, Ta -da, then I am getting some output because POC has all hot inlets. And then the last way that you can make messages, uh, sorry, lists, is by using message boxes with replaceable arguments. So let's say, let's go back to our text example here, uh, text object example. Right. So I could use this replaceable argument 
which is a stand-in for a value. So now I can type in, here's line one, this one gets replaced, or this dollar sign one gets replaced with whatever integer I send. So now I have line two, the text says, hey, I'm line two. Line three says, yep, yeah, I'm line three, or whatever it is that I have in this box. Ooh, woo -hoo, la la la. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, that's lists. We did it. Good job. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a great day.